Wayne Hills taking on Ramapo in the 2009 North 1 Group 3 State Championship game. Giant Stadium in the snow. First play from scrimmage for Ramapo. And that's Jesse Devonshuk, their star running back, getting injured on his first carry of the night. As that would change the whole complexion of the game. As their leading rusher averaging 130 yards per game has to be carted off the field. And Ramapo's offense was in trouble. But the injury wouldn't affect Scott Kunzel, who picks up the starter, Jesse Devonchuk, and gets into the end zone for the 23-yard score. Wayne Hills' missed tackles cost him six, and Ramapo goes on top first. But a theme for this game would be the punting mishap. As you see, Tim Dibbers lets the ball go right through his fingertips and through the back of the end zone for a safety, and Ramapo was up 9-0. But they had problems of their own with the punt game as this ball gets over the head of the punter, and Wayne Hills is gonna be set up in perfect field position. After not being able to capitalize, Divers goes down to a knee to field the punt, and Ramapo will take over from midfield. That field position would lead to this, Sean Nunier picking up the screen and tiptoeing down the sideline, and going all the way in for the score, and just like that, Ramapo is up 16-0 to stun the Patriots. Another theme in this first half for Wayne Hills would be zero offense whatsoever as you see Brian Dowling gets blown up on the screen. And on the next play, Mike Quinn, the star quarterback, is going to be sacked for a huge loss. On the next drive, another screen to Nick Massey is blown up in the backfield. And on fourth down, Quinn's pass goes begging and Wayne Hills would head into the locker room scoreless and down by 16. But Wayne Hills would catch their first big break in the third quarter as another punt is going to be mishandled by Ramapo and Eddie Schiller is going to come up and recover the football and set Wayne Hills up in their best field position of the day. That would lead to this big Brian Dowling run for 14 yards, getting it down to the Ramapo six yard line and on the very next play Dowling gets a hole and falls across the goal line for the score. They would go for two to try to make it a one possession game. Conversion is good as Dowling gets into the end zone again, and just like that, Wayne Hills cuts the deficit in half. It's 16 to eight. In what would be the craziest play of the game early in the fourth quarter, the Ramapo punter scrambling for his life, almost is able to get back to the six. They would measure on the play, and he would be just short, setting up Wayne Hills with good field position. But on fourth down, Mike Quinn scrambling, and he's gonna be tackled short of the first down marker, and Wayne Hills would turn it over on downs. With under 30 seconds to go, one last heave for Mike Quinn and Wayne Hills as he's going to air it out too long for the intended receiver and that would do it for the career of Mike Quinn as well as the state championship streak for the Patriots as they would come out losers in this one by a final score of 16-8. to eight.